So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we gonna have to kill ya? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Calculating route. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pegorino's is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place of purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. You have arrived. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me.
outside and find this money. Swim for it with the money. See you back at the house, Blackie. Try to keep the money dry, won't ya? I don't know how my book is gonna be about wet notes. Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a... That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, just shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. Nick 
Disco Man, look, I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. So I throw you both, Vicky. Come over to the cylinder, little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. Which is strange.